Pagination is a new feature introduced in version 2.0 of the High Slide Galleries. It allows you to spread image galleries over multiple pages by restricting the number of images appearing on each page of the gallery. So to demonstrate this, the first thing I want to do is bring more images into my gallery. So I'm going to go down to the toolbar and tell it to use all film strip photos. Now remember, to keep things moving speedily while we're creating these videos and designing our gallery, I'm working with a small working group of images. So I only have 35 images here. And as you can see, they're all on, appearing on one page. So let's move into the output settings control pane. The pagination control group is labeled here in yellow. And the first slider is for controlling the number of images appearing on each page of your gallery. So by default, images per page is set to 100, meaning that I'm only going to get multiple pages if I have more than 100 images. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to scale that back considerably. And I'm going to try to keep everything on one screen so you can see it all in the video. Um, so I'm going to adjust the value of this slider. This slider has a very wide range, and so it's difficult to nail a precise number uh, by sliding. So what I'm going to do instead is click on the number and input that manually. So I'm going to keep 10 images per page, and that will allow us to see everything here in the video at the same time. So you can see that when I do that, uh, I now have only 10 items on my page, but I get these navigation bars that have page numbers. So you can see it goes one through four, and then there's a next button. So I can use these navigation bars, both on the top and bottom of the thumbnail grid, to navigate the pages of my gallery. Of course, the navigation bar doesn't match the design of our gallery, and that's where we get into these other controls here in the pagination control group. So the first thing I'm going to do is increase the font size, because I think it'll be a little easier to read that way. Then I'm going to start changing colors. I'm going to keep with the olive green color I've been using around the rest of my gallery. Um, I like the black border, although I'm going to use the border slider, nav border, to take that down to a single pixel. That way it matches the rest of our grid. Uh, border color is good, black. Current page, I'm going to have that appear in the same crimson that we're using up there. The links are going to stay white, and they're going to hover black. So that's really all there is to the pagination control group. As you can see, it's very easy to, to use. Um, oh, there are two more sliders I didn't cover. One of them allows you to adjust the vertical size of that bar. And the other allows you to apply rounded corners to the bar. So maybe I'll take that up to five. Okay, so that's it for the pagination control group. Um, let me just show you one more thing. The very first line under the pagination heading reads disabled for client proofing gallery. And that's a notification that if you're using the gallery's client proofing features, um, the pagination is going to become disabled. So very quickly, let's just move up to the appearance pane and turn on the client proofing gallery features. We're gonna cover these features in depth in another video. But I just want to show you what happens. If I have pagination configured and I turn this on, the pagination goes away and all of our images come back to a single page. And the reason for that is that the client proofing features utilize HTML forms in order to collect and send feedback from the gallery to the photographer's email address. And for that to happen, it all has to be on a single page. Uh, HTML forms cannot span multiple pages. So as a safety measure, even when you have pagination turned on, set up, configured, and you go ahead and enable the client proofing gallery, it's going to disable pagination and put everything on it to a single page. Now, if you'll see again, if I turn this off, it reverts back to my original pagination settings. So there we are again with 10 images per page and navigation bars. 
So that's pagination. Of course, I'm going to ultimately want more than 10 images per page in my final gallery. So I'm going to take this up to 25 for the time being. And uh, we're going to start playing with some other settings in the next video. And so I'm just going to take this back to my small working group of photos. And we're ready to move on.